So what's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? On this nice uh, brisk Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. I guess it's morning. It's not noon yet. So um, these are some things I'm going to go over uh, that you should know uh, before and after you install your lowering kit on your Colorado or just any vehicle in particular. This is really going to pertain just to the Colorado and Canyon. Um, first off, make sure, this is very important, that once you've installed the lowering kit, you got everything done, you go get, a, you go get an alignment. And then after the alignment, drive the truck for about 500 miles. I mean, you don't have to wait that long. You can do 250 miles. It's up to you. Uh, but 500 miles is usually what everybody usually, you know, that's how long they wait. Uh, drive 500 miles and then go back over everything. Everything that you've touched, everything that you've loosened, everything that you've replaced. Make sure all the bolts have not backed off. Make sure none of the nuts are missing. Make sure nothing's broken. Make sure everything is tight and where it should be because you don't want any issues down the road. So some of the important things is like the uh, bolts for the front of the leaf spring, um, the shackles, you know, everything. Don't miss anything. Don't skimp on anything. Don't, uh, don't be lazy. Do it. Make sure you check everything on the truck. Um, now, I haven't gotten an alignment yet just because I want to see how well the truck does without me getting one. I want to see how the tires wear. So I'll give it a couple of months. Um, and I apologize if I'm sniffling. Like I said, it is a little chilly out here. And you can tell that I'm wearing shorts because I'm stupid. But uh, <clears throat> I want to see how the truck does. You know, they usually tell you to get an alignment. You know, you have to, you have to. Uh, you don't, you don't really have to, I guess you could say. Um, my truck does have some camber and your truck probably will. When you put this kit on it will have some kind of camber on it uh just because that's just how it is because you're changing the geometry of everything so you know it's it's going to change uh so if you want to get rid of that you want the truck to drive like it's supposed to uh you know you, you want to try to save your tires as much as possible if you're that if you're not going to replace them like you're going to keep the wheels and tires like i have the 18s i'm not going to keep these I'll either put 20s or 22s, probably 20, 20s, uh, just because 22s are a lot bigger and a lot heavier. And when it comes time to want to have to replace the tires, they're going to be expensive. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Probably 20s. But anyways, a lot of people aren't going to do that. A lot of people will have, like, these wheels, and they'll keep them. These are the 18-inch anthracite gray or anthracite colored wheels that they offer with the appearance package for the Colorados. I don't know about the canyons because uh, I don't have a canyon. So, but I know for the Colorados at least, when you get the appearance package, which has the body colored bumpers, the toe, I mean not toe, the mirror caps, the door handles, all that, you get these wheels. It's a custom package, I guess is what it is. I have to look at the window sticker. And I will make a video of my window sticker to show exactly what my truck is optioned with. So if you want a vehicle like mine, exactly like mine, there you go. I'll show you that so that way you can see it. You can option it how you like. Uh, and there won't be any questions. Because I haven't done that yet and I should. But, yeah. So, pretty much, all I need to say is do what you're supposed to do follow directions you can't you can't come to me and say oh well uh you know you said this that and the other and my truck's doing this well you need to make sure you follow the directions first and make sure that you do what i've told you um like i said alignment is recommended it even says it on the, in the instructions no matter no matter what you do suspension wise doesn't matter if it's a leveling kit lift kit lowering kit uh doesn't oh, excuse me doesn't matter if you uh replace control arms or ball joints or anything like that mostly control arms but if you replace anything that 
you have to mess with the alignment in some way, you need to get an alignment. You need to go and get it checked, even if you don't think that it's out by a little bit or you don't think it's messed up, you need to go check it. You need to go make sure that the truck will still drive correctly because uh, a bad alignment can cause premature tire wear. Uh, it can, the car, the truck or car or whatever will drive differently. It'll either pull to one side or, uh, you know, those are pretty much the things that I know of. There's probably other reasons, but those are the ones that I know of. Uh, you know, the truck won't drive, the car won't drive straight. It'll go to one side or pull one side or the other side. Uh, or the steering wheel won't be straight for some reason. So just be careful with that. Because, <laughs> like, for an example, um, I didn't take the tie rods off of the spindle. Um, just because I didn't need to. I got the strut out with no problem. So I didn't have to mess with those. Didn't have to mess with how long they are. Didn't, you know, there's no reason you should mess with those anyway. Um, I didn't take the lower control arm bolts loose. Some, some kits, they tell you to do that just so it's easy to get the, uh, strut out. Like I said, I didn't have any issues. I've left everything like that where it should be. I didn't loosen anything like that. I let it loosen the upper ball joint, took it off, uh, and let the spindle just hang from the bottom ball joint. Didn't mess with the bottom ball joint, left it alone. So you know everybody's different not everybody's gonna do the same thing that i've done but uh i already had the front suspension taken apart before so i already kind of knew what i was dealing with and what i what would work and what wouldn't so that one less thing that i have to take off the better off i'll be so uh and i'm in here just so that way you can hear me and it's a little cold outside uh what else uh but yeah that's the stuff that i wanted to go over is make sure you get your alignment checked um or if you don't you know that's on you they're your tires it's your vehicle do what you want to do but i highly recommend you go and do it i'm not gonna do it and a lot of people are probably gonna say oh well you need to do it you need to do it i've had vehicles that i've done suspension work on before and never had the alignment checked and I never really had, like I, for example, the Tahoe I had, uh, I lowered it. It was a torsion bar front suspension and cause some of them come with struts or some of them come with torsion bars. Mine was torsion bars and I lowered it with lowering keys and all that. And they said they'd get alignment there. I never had any problems with that. It still drove straight. Uh, and I had 22s on it. It drove straight. The tires never wore out. Even when I put the factory tires back on it. Never had a problem with them. So, you know, to each their own. I'm not saying every situation is going to be like that, but just do that. Do what the paper says. Do what the instructions tell you to do. Uh, make sure you recheck all your bolts. Make sure you torque everything. I don't know torque specs for anything, so don't ask me. Um, I don't know if I said that in the video for what you're going to need to put this kit, put the kit on your truck if you have a Colorado. So, but I'm saying it now. I don't have the torque specs. You're going to have to look that up because I don't know what they are. I don't think that the torque specs are in the instructions. It could be. I don't know. I didn't torque them. So I just did it by feel because I don't have a torque wrench. So there's that. But uh, yeah, um, I guess the next video I'll show my... Uh, I actually put some appropriate clothes on so I don't get sick. And I will get my... Uh, um, uh, window sticker and I'll go over, you know, my truck. Cause I don't think that I've actually made a comparison of this truck versus the other ones. And I think I made the video. I just never put it on YouTube, but, uh, yeah. So there you guys go. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, and I know some people saw, I know you probably saw the lower valence or lower air dam, whatever you want to call it back on the truck. I made a video about that, but I haven't posted it yet. So more than likely when you're seeing this video, that video will be posted after because I actually put it on uh, last this past Wednesday, I think. So because it was the day that I helped my sister change her oil and I just decided to put it back on. So, um, yeah, so you're seeing this video first. The other video is going to be really sunny when I talk about that. But uh, yeah.
So there you guys go. I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I'll do the best that I can. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, remarks, whatever, you know, post them. And I'll do what I can and I'll answer what I can. And I will uh, hopefully see you guys in the next video. So I hope everybody has a great day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are watching this.